children, welcome in the name of Jesus. Children, welcome in the name of love. All are welcome in the name of Jesus. All are welcome in the name of love. Welcome to Children in Worship at New Dublin today, and we are here to hear one of the stories of God together in this special place, and we miss you all very much. Um, let's greet each other this morning. We've been forgetting to do that, so let's, let's do that. So we make a C with our hands. We say, Christ is risen. He, he is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. And then we like to get ready to be in the special time and the special place by singing songs of praise. And one of our favorite songs is Jesus Loves the Little Children. We have lots of sign language that we use with this song. So this is Jesus Loves the Little Children, All the Children of the World, Red and Yellow, Black and White. They are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Are you ready? Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Nice job. And after we sing songs of praise, we like to make our bodies still and quiet so that we can get ready to be with God and hear the stories of God. And you can do that all by yourself. You don't need anybody to tell you to do it. You just close your eyes and take deep breaths. And sing Be Still and Know. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that Once there was a man who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people began to follow him. And as they followed him, they still didn't understand who he was. So one day they simply had to ask. And he said, I am the good shepherd. And I know each one of my sheep by name. And they know the sound of my voice. And I show them the way.
I lead them to the good green grass. Here is where I feed my sheep. At this special table, with a special plate, and a special cup. And many come to enjoy this special feast. They come from the east. And they come from the west. They come from the north. Even the children come to this table. So the Good Shepherd is with us still. 
and this special holy bread and the holy wine. And a special person called a celebrant or a pastor like Sarah Jane at our church can bring us to the table and say the very words of the Good Shepherd. I wonder if these people have names. I wonder if you've ever heard those very special words of the Good Shepherd and come to this table. I wonder how many people can come to this table. where they come from. And I wonder where this place might really be. I wonder what you're thinking about this story. And so, after we hear the story, it's a special time for us to think about what we've heard and maybe about what God might be trying to tell us. Or there might be something special on your mind that you would like to work with. And you might choose to use markers or crayons, or you might want to choose to build something or recreate the story. Um, your work time is yours, and it's up to you to choose how you'd like to do that. So until next time, Peace be with you. Well, good morning, and welcome to the second part of Children in Worship. That was an absolutely beautiful story of uh, the shepherd and the sheep coming around the table. And today, we have now moved into our sixth Sunday of Easter Tide. We have one more Sunday, and then we go to Pentecost. So for today's cross, which I promised you all we would have one, for each Sunday in Easter Tide, it's a very simple uh, little art I did that you all can do with things that you have at home. You take tin foil or aluminum foil that your mom uses for cooking, and you just simply cover a piece of cardboard. I think I took the back of an old phone book and covered it to make your surface that you're going to work on. And then using your markers, you just draw your design and color it in. If you want to use permanent markers, you will have a more vibrant color but you need to work, you'll have to wash your hands and use some old clothes so you don't stain your clothes. So hopefully you all can work with that. The beautiful stained glass pictures that you can do with uh, working on tin foil. So try that this week and see. You can use your regular Crayola markers on that. So now we will light our candle. Our Christ candle. and have our scripture. So let's feast on the word of God today. And this comes from the book of Corinthians, and we're in chapter 11. On the night that he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took bread, and he spoke a prayer of thanksgiving. He broke the bread, and then he said, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this to remember me. When supper was over, he did the same with the cup. He said, 
This cup is the new promise made with my blood. Every time you drink from it, do it to remember me. Every time you eat this bread and drink from this cup, you tell about the Lord's death until he comes. Thanks be to God for the reading of his word. So let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, we pray that you will help us to count our blessings. We pray that you will help us to count our blessings. And to love one another. And to love one another. Amen. Amen. Now the light that was in one time in one place is now in all times and all places. Go, Go now in peace. Go now in peace.